Hello, and welcome to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lofredo, and today I'm once again showing you more tricks for lyrics. Uh, we are looking at syllable positioning today. And by syllable position, I mainly mean the left and right positioning, um, but some a little bit of the up and down positioning I'll get to a little bit later as well, uh, outside of the, uh, the baseline positioning, which I've already showed you how to do. Um, so let's talk about syllable positioning. And uh, for this, I'm really going to go into the document options first and talk about uh, what we have for syllable positioning at the, uh, at the, the top of the document options here. Now, this is, it gets a little confusing, uh, these options here, but um, the alignment and justification uh, settings really have to do with how the word is aligned and justified underneath each note. And um, the way these options work is, is interesting, and I'm going to start with the, the, where it says others, um, and you'll see that the alignment and justification is set to center and center for others. Now, others pretty much applies to almost every syllable except the syllables that exist in these very specific scenarios uh, which are listed above. Um, so we have syllables with word extension, syllables, uh, the first syllable in the lyric, and syllables at the start of the system. So if a word exists with this scenario, the alignment and justification will be left-left for word extensions, for example. First syllable in the lyric is center-left, syllables at start of system is center-left as well. And this is how it's set uh, initially in finale for you. Um, and interestingly, these are all checked, but you can uncheck one of these, which means that Finale will ignore this scenario, in s and when you get a syllable at the start of a system, instead of using this scenario, it will use the others for the alignment and justification. Um, so you can choose to check or uncheck any of these as you need to. And finally, w uh, it is possible for a syllable to exist in multiple scenarios. So for example, you can have a a word extension on a syllable that's also at the start of a system. So which one would it choose? Well, Finale uh, uses this as a hierarchy here. So the very first option um, would overrule the second and third option. The second option would overrule the third option, etc. So that's just sort of how that works. And with the alignment and justification options themselves, you do have the option for left, center, or right for both alignment and justification for all of these scenarios. Now, most of the time, you're going to want uh, either a left alignment and, ju and justification or center, as you, ha as you see here. Um, there is a right alignment and right justification option, which I was trying to like figure out why you would ever want to align or justify a lyric to the right of a note. And the only thing I can think of is that some languages that are written from right to left, like Hebrew, for example, um, you know, music is still going to read left to right, but perhaps for uh, for that particular language, it might look better for the words to be aligned to the right edge of the note. I'm not actually 100% sure of that, but um, I'm curious if anybody knows more about that, and uh, if you want to comment in the comment section of the video and uh, enlighten me a little bit, that would be, that would be interesting for me. Um, but you do have left, center, and right options for both alignment and justification. Uh, right below that, there is this option for ignore syllable edge punctuation, and there's a list of uh, punctuations in this little uh, box here. Um, and basically, this is just telling Finale to ignore these particular punctuations when it considers uh, the centering the word or something. So, it, you know, if you have a, like an ellipsis after a word, Finale will ignore that, so it centers the word itself. It doesn't sort of center it. Um, with the, you know, calculating the ellipsis as well, which would also, you know, which would probably look a little weird. But you can choose to uncheck that and it will not ignore those syllables or add or subtract to these punctuations if you want. All right, so that is, you know, the, the way that it's set up. So let's talk about what this actually means. So any syllable is going to have, uh, is going to use one of those scenarios. So for example, the word sound uh, it doesn't have a word extension. It's not starting the lyric. It's not starting a system. So it's going to use that other setting that I showed you. So it's going to be centered justification and center alignment on the note. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the lyric tool and I'm going to choose the fourth tool in the window, which is the adjust syllables tool, which is going to enlighten us a little bit more on this, uh, on this path of syllable adjustments. And uh, the tool also exists here, the adjust syllables tool. And when you select that tool, uh, you will start to you will see all of the handles for every single syllable, and this will sort of elucidate exactly what's going on here a little bit better. So with the word sound, you'll see that the handle appears in the center of the word, and that means that this word is center justified, um, and also the word is pretty much centered on the note as well, right? 
Now for the word like me, which has a word extension, you can see that the handle appears on the left side, meaning that this word me is left justified. And also that handle is aligned to the left edge of the, uh, of the note here. It's not aligned to the center, right? So this word me is left justified and left aligned, just like it appears left aligned, left justified for syllables with word extensions in the document options, right? So you can sort of see what's going on. Furthermore, if you were to right-click any word, uh, right-click saved here, you'll get this contextual menu, and you'll be able to see exactly what's going on with the alignment and the justification in the center sections here. Um, usually, after you type in words, you'll see something that looks similar to this, where the align default will be checked, but below that, one of these options will be ticked. In this case, the align center has this little uh, hash mark to the left of it, just telling you that the default alignment is in fact the center alignment. Same thing with the justification. It's, it's set to the default justification, which happens to be the justified centered uh, situation, all right? Now the justification and the alignment actually makes a little bit more sense sometimes when you, when you consider uh, multiple verses. So I'm gonna go down to the second system here where you can see uh, I have two verses typed here. And you look at the situation with the once and the, the word once and the word grace. And it's at the beginning of the system, it's got a word extension. So both of these words are left aligned and left justified. So you can see the handles on the left and the handles are lining up with the left edge of the word. Now, the thing about this is that if you uh, were to change the justification, like let's say we're gonna force uh, Finale to justify this center, um, what you'll see is that now the, the words themselves are center justified with each other, which means that the word once is a little bit shorter, so you're gonna have a little space on the left and a little space on the right. However, the alignment is still uh, left aligned, so the left side of the G here is lining up with the left side of the note, right? We could, in fact, force this to uh, align center as well, and what you'll see is that now the center of the, the note uh, head gets centered with the center of the words, right? So this would be center, center versus left, left. Again, we can go to align left, um, uh, justify uh, center, or we could do justify left, align center, right? And now the center of the note will uh, pretty much go uh, align with the center of the longer word here, but the notes themselves, or the words themselves would be left justified. So that's sort of the difference between the uh, justification and the um, uh, and the, the alignment. And of course, if we go back and choose justify default, it will go back to the original situation where you can see that the uh, default is aligned left and the default is justified left, all right? So that's a, a little bit about the difference of, of the justifica uh, justification versus alignment. Now there is one other thing that's going on here which uh, is worth mentioning. Now you notice the word wretch here? So this word is set to align center and set to justify center, right? But clearly this word is not align center. In fact, the center of this word sort of appears at uh, the right edge of the, the note head here. Now what happens is when Finale uh, calculates the spacing of the notes and the lyrics, um, it doesn't allow the word to cross the boundary of the left bar line. If I draw an invisible bar line down here, the W would be to the right of it. So if this word were truly uh, center aligned, this W would cross over into the previous bar, which Finale is not allowing you to do. What it's also not allowing uh, to happen, it's not allowing the e it's not allowing extra white space before the note to occur, right? So this white s this leading white space it calls it is going to be set. So the choice that it makes, which I kind of I think makes sense, is that it's uh, offsetting the word a little bit to the right. So even though this is center aligned, it's slightly offset right to um, avoid adding uh, additional white space, but also to avoid the word going off to the left. Now this will only occur if the uh, default alignment and default justification are chosen. Um, if you force uh, choose the align center, what Finale is going to do is, you know, it's going to say, okay, you must want that word to really be centered on this on this note, which it will do. And the only way to do that without the word crossing the left uh, bar line here is to add the extra white space. So if you were to force choose the align center option, Finale will then add extra white space. Right, going back to default, you see that the word gets offset a little bit to the right, so that it doesn't have to add that white space. All right. Um, so that's what's going on there. 
Uh, it finale handles it slightly differently at the ends of the bars. So if I add a long word here on the D, um, finale instead of um, you know trying to offset the word to the right to make room, it will actually add extra space. It will add extra space after the last note before the bar line. So that again, because what finale doesn't want the words to ever do is to cross the bar line. So it's not allowing this, uh, this lyric to cross the bar line. So in this case, it will add extra space at the end of the bar, but it won't at the beginning. That's just how that works. Now, in addition to these alignment and justification options, um, Finale will actually allow you to manually move any uh, given lyric. Uh, using the adjust syllables, um, these handles will allow you to move the words any which way you want. So you can just grab a handle and uh, you know, start to move it around if you really want to. Um, uh, holding down shift will constrain the dragging to the first direction you go. So if you go left or right, it will constrain the dragging to the horizontal. If you start moving up or down, it will constrain the dragging to the uh, vertical. Um, whenever you, uh, a after you move a word like that, you can always reset the uh, positioning by right clicking and choosing manual positioning. You can also do that by just selecting, having the word selected and pressing the clear key if you have a clear key on your computer. Um, and these moves can also be made with directly with the selection tool. So you can grab any uh, lyric that you want and move it around. And interestingly, right clicking will bring up that same exact contextual menu uh, that, so you can clear the manual positioning. Uh, also, the alignment and justification options are here uh, directly from the uh, selection tool as well. So actually, the selection tool in some way sort of behaves the same as the adjust syllables subtool in the lyric tool. Uh, the advantage of using the adjust syllable uh, subtool here is that we can actually choose more than one lyric at once, which you can't do with the selection tool. So if I wanted to move a whole bunch of lyrics all at once, you can just sort of uh, lasso select them and move them. And in addition to being able to just drag with your mouse, the uh, arrow keys will allow you to nudge in any direction that you want. And once you have all of these selected, just uh, clear manual position will clear them all at once as well. Now, um, the lyric uh, syllables can be unlinked from the score and the part, and uh, we can do this all at once as well, just by right-clicking and choose unlink or relink, and we have the, the crazy little uh, um, uh, keystroke combos for that if you want to use that. Um, but just unlinking it, of course, now we can make a move if we need to move these down to get out of the way of notes or something. We can move just those lyrics. Uh, however, um, they will not be moved in the soprano line in this case. You'll see they'll still be lined up there. And it works the same way. If I just go ahead and undo this, let's see here. Lasso select these, clear manual positioning, and relink. Uh, it will work the same way as other linkable and unlinkable items in that if you're in the part and select them and move, it will also unlink them so that they, th that change will not be made in the score. All right, so it sort of behaves the same as uh, any other unlinkable item between parts and scores. However, what is not linkable or unlinkable rather is the state of the alignment and justification. These settings um, are not unlinkable. So whatever you set for um, any particular um, uh, syllable is gonna apply to both the score and the parts. You cannot unlink the alignment or justification settings here, all right? And then finally, one more thing I want to talk about in terms of alignment and positioning has to do with the uh, lyric numbers uh, themselves. Um, and it's the very bottom option here for automatic lyric numbers. There's two different options. You can sort of see what the difference is here. Uh, it has to do when with the uh, the verse numbers or the verses starting on different words like they, like they are here. You can see the different scenarios. So this will only sort of make sense if I were to add a second verse to the top here, which I'll do really quickly. Let's go into type and score, verse two. I'm just gonna add a word here. Uh, just so we can see this. And then of course this has to do with the auto number of verses. And you'll see when you skip that first note, the two gets placed right next to the, uh, the first word. However, that one option will uh, change that scenario around a little bit so that the, uh, the numbers themselves will actually get lined up 
Uh, so that's what that, that uh, option does. And uh, I'm just going to double check my notes, make sure there's, there's a lot to this. So I just want to double check my notes, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think that's it. So, uh, you know, the, the syllable positioning in finale is not exactly uh, simple. It, there are certain aspects of it that actually confuse me at times. So, uh, um, you know, hopefully I've, I've somewhat uh, made this uh, a little bit more approachable for you. But um, that's, that's pretty much how it works. Um, so thanks for watching. I think I might do one more video for lyrics, and it uh, will be a fun one coming up. So um, uh, look forward to that. All right, so thanks for watching, and I will see you soon on the next video.